I really don't know how to start this video without being frustrated. What's going on guys? My name is Ryan or Gabby. If you're coming from somewhere else or if this is your first video that you've seen on me because I'm talking about a very popular issue to be talking about right now. And the reason I'm doing a video like this isn't to just jump on the bandwagon, it's to fill in some answers just in case something somebody missed something or something along the lines of that. So this, if this is your first video of me, well, hello. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like the video. You can do all of that on your own. Feel free to do that right below, but you don't have to. What I'm going to ask you to do is, before you watch this video, go and watch the one in the description below if you haven't. It's the video on Keemstar's channel about the whole YouTube age gate. Now, I have my own thoughts and I have my own opinions on this. Some parts of it I believe are true and some parts of it I believe have more to it. Without further ado, let's just get right into this. Now, Keemstar brought up a really good point about this is the only thing that makes sense right now. So let's talk about age gate. Age gate is the first thing that ends in gate that my favorite football team isn't a part of. So thank God for that. What brought up something that really concerned me in his video is the channel ratings. Now you have a rating to your channel depending on what type of content you make. So I make content that in my opinion, I would put maybe 13, 13 plus, something like that. So everyone 12 and under not only will be unsubscribed from my channel, but they will also not see my videos or my channel or know I exist anymore on YouTube after that. There's loopholes with that, of course. There's loopholes with everything on YouTube. It's not the most well-formulated site. They've completely lost their minds at this point. So, of course, there are going to be ways to get around this and everything. But uh, what, what makes me so nervous about this is that we don't know if you can change your rating. So once I'm given the rating of 13+, plus, if I try and go to make Minecraft content, then I'm kind of, I'm kind of fucked because my channel's already 13+, plus, and it can't drop to, like, if I stop swearing. If I stop doing everything that I do, stop making kind of edgy jokes. I don't really make edgy jokes though. But if I stop doing what makes my channel so unique, nothing will happen. I'll still be considered a 13 plus channel that's making eight plus content. And that's what really, that's what really terrifies me because people are going to be falsely, falsely indicated of uh, their rating on videos that they used to make. See, I used to make content where I would just let loose on my language. Now I've toned it back a little bit. I'm really trying to swear less. And I mean that because it's not that I'm like, oh, I want to have an audience that's much younger. It's more that I want this to better myself. If that makes any sense, I don't want to be swearing as much. But another thing that was brought up within this whole age gate thing was the fact that your thumbnails now have an effect in the videos and what it may be personally like rated. Now, that also brings up a question for me is that maybe it's rating videos wise also, which could add on top of it. So, okay, so let's go back to the theory where my channel's 13 plus. Now, if someone who's 14 is watching my video, but I end up pulling, I don't know, certain, some stupid decision of mine, putting like boobs in the thumbnail or something like that, and then it's rated at a 16 plus, maybe there's a separate thing video by video, and there's also something that's channel based. Now, that brings up the question of, oh, well, this might be a little bit of a more intense algorithm, but also, who does this? There are millions of videos uploaded to YouTube every single day. Do they have an algorithm? Do they have something like this? What happens when YouTube breaks? It does that constantly. My videos don't go out to sub boxes all the time. Other people deal with the same issues as that, but what happens when the algorithm breaks? What happens when, does somebody sit on their computer and watch these videos and say, say, oh, this is suitable for this. How, how do we know this? What's, how are we going to know this? That's another question I have. It seems like YouTube is trying to eliminate almost clickbait and say, oh, if you're going to make these videos, then only a certain amount of your demographic is going to be able to do and watch these. And of course, you're going to have the people who are like, oh yeah, I'm an adult. Um, personally, my account, I'm 17 years old, my account's registered that I'm 18 because that's just how I did it. But other people like my little brothers, I don't want them to be going and watching videos that are updated towards an older demographic, but that's where you can have your parental guidance. Like to, there's a tool for that. You can have parental guidance, but I don't want them to be going and watching, I don't know, like 
people hailing Hitler, PewDiePie, <laughs> same thing, right? But th th this is just going to break everything because now we have people like PewDiePie who's going to be screwed over because YouTube already sees him in a bad light. So if he does end up releasing Scared PewDiePie, which is something that I could, I I'll say right now, I watched season one. First off, Felix, great show. I loved it. Um, second, 16 plus. Someone who's 16 now can't watch it, but someone who's 14 shouldn't be watching it in the first place. But you can go make yourself 18, but then there's going to be so many more accounts to sift through for YouTube. And that's going to ask where there's the bots, where YouTube eliminates that. And it just brings up so many more questions. If this seems confusing, it's because it is. We don't know this stuff. We're finding this out for ourselves, which is another level. YouTube doesn't disclose this to us whatsoever. And I find that extremely, not only irritating, but irresponsible as a company. What you should be doing is you should be holding your, you should be holding your company's uh, workers' hands with this. If I went to a boss of mine, so I'm a babysitter on my free time. If I had an issue with something or had a few questions, would I just be like, going behind someone's back and be like, oh, asking another babysitter how to take care of kids. Those are a total different aspect of children. But I'm asking them, instead of going straight to the main source of where I could find out my information on what would work, that's what YouTube's doing to us. And that's completely unfair. And it, it blows my mind that they're even doing that to us. Okay, I need to take a breather here. I'm starting to lose my voice. Another topic that I really tend to see a lot is that YouTube isn't disclosing things to us that will not make them now we have things in the past that had a big reveal youtube tv huge reveal how much are you is youtube tv a month okay i can look that up for you right now now for one year 35 dollars a month now for one year that's 420 dollars and that must be what they're fucking smoking to think that this is a good idea to pull through with this honestly I really hope that this turns into something like YouTube Heroes, where it just dies out and people kind of have a big outrage about it, but I don't think that's going to happen, because they're raiding our channels and they're sifting through our channels instead of other people sifting through our channels and it, the hype about it dies out. Now this, this is going to have an extreme and immediate effect on us. YouTube's making a shit ton of money off of YouTube TV. They have a huge reveal for it, invite all big YouTubers out to it. They make YouTubers involved in it. Now, now with the YouTube space, where people were invited and found out about this originally, big YouTubers had to investigate themselves. Because in Keemstar's video back relating to it, there were people that went on their computers, they ended up um, not seeing their channel because they wanted to have every like computer signed into their channel and think that was funny, which honestly that kind of would have been funny. What YouTube did is they were like, oh yeah, this is this, this is this. And then they're like, keep it confidential. Keep, keep it confidential. Are you joking? Why do you want to keep something like this that can affect us so confidential to the point where we don't know what's going on. We have to figure this out on our own. YouTube, we figured it out on our own. We're really not happy with you. Now we really want answers that you're also not giving to us. You're starting to dig yourself a really deep hole now. Also, you saw something like this with YouTube Red. YouTube Red made them a ton of money because it's a certain amount a year, all these shows, all these add-ons, everything. And also you can now have movies on YouTube, also making the money also displayed for me. Now with test channels, let's talk about that for a minute. Do I believe my channel is a test channel? Possibly, very possibly. I haven't gained subscribers for more than three days in a row. I don't think in the last almost six, seven months. And it's been a while. Now, part of that might be because of my declining channel, but also part of that is because maybe I'm part of this. And I I don't know. I, I'm just kind of dabbling in theories there. I don't, I can't, I can't theoretically say that or not. But someone like Leafy is here where there's overwhelming evidence. Now, don't get me wrong. I've, I'm watching a few of his videos here and there just cause like, I think he's still entertaining. But to lose that many subscribers as he is, that's just ridic that's ridiculous. And he's making really edgy content, so that's for an older demographic. I don't get it. 
But here's one more thing to support the age gate not being true that I don't get, is the fact that I'm still unsubscribed to a lot of people, and I'm being unsubscribed to a lot of people. My account's registered is 18. Now, I'm not being unsubscribed as many as uh, one of my friends is who has their account registered at 15, and they're 15 right now. They're just being like mass unsubscribed from like so many people. But I've been unsubscribed from like two or three people here and there. That's really it. I don't have the issue as bad as other people do, but this is still just ridiculous. Now, my final thoughts on this is that if YouTube goes through with this, this is going to be the one thing that could possibly crash and burn YouTube, but they'll revert it. I don't think that this will last if it is involved and enabled. A lot of people will switch over to Twitch, in my opinion. A lot of people will also switch over to alternative websites. This will scatter the demographic if it goes through. I think this is one of the worst ideas that YouTube can come up with, and I also think that this is one of the biggest backstabs that the YouTube community has ever felt in the entirety, in, in the entire existence of YouTube. Honestly, I, I feel like Susan, Susan, whatever her fucking name is, just took a huge knife, put it at my spine, and just ripped down. Like, I feel every inch of that, and I feel myself bleeding out here. And YouTube, you're not doing a thing to help us out. We're asking for answers, and we have been asking for answers. We've been asking why views are declining. And you can't do the little part to tell us, this is what's going on, it's in the, it's in the works, and get our opinion. We're, we are your, we're your, we're your workers. We're the people who can get you the answers to that. If you wanted help with something, ask us, because not only would we be able to do it for literally nothing, and it would be easy for us, we're the people who you can immediately go to, and you can immediately do your own research on. Because it's your website, but it's also our website, because we've built it up for you. So YouTube, I'm gonna ask you one thing on behalf of the entire YouTube community, and that is to disclose information with us that affects us. If it's something like YouTube Red and you're announcing that on your own and it's going to be making you money, that's cool. Go ahead. Have have your big have your big meetups, have your big events for that stuff. But if it's something that's going to be such a big deal for us, I don't care if you don't get if you get hate for it. I'm sure the community doesn't care if you get hate for it. Cuz guess what? We deal with that on a daily basis. Your video saying that you don't unsubscribe people from channels was untrue but now we understand why that's why it got so much hate because we didn't understand why that gave us no answers give us the answers and we'll be happy to oblige thank you youtube thank you everyone who watched this video my name's ryan or gabby i'll talk to y'all later this is ridiculous hope y'all enjoyed peace just talked about that for 16 minutes